Okay, so imagine like a uh, a mountain of paperwork, right? Contracts and cases and precedents, and it's just never ending. Yeah, and it's not just the amount of it. It's like every single word could actually mean something different, you know? Oh, totally. That's... So much pressure, right, to catch yeah. every little detail. Exactly, and that's actually where something like Harvey AI comes in. Harvey AI. Okay, so is that is that like a, a new legal database or? It uses AI, so it uses like natural language processing and things like machine learning to help lawyers with all those really tough tasks. Ah, okay. So it's not replacing lawyers, but it's helping them out. Yeah, it's like a super powerful tool to help them be more efficient and accurate. Gotcha, so instead of spending hours and hours just reading through stuff. Right, they can use Harvey AI to do a lot of that initial work, yeah. like finding the key points in a contract or you know, researching a specific legal issue. Okay, I'm starting to see that this could be a game changer. Yeah, so let's say there's this lawyer, Priya, and she's dealing with a huge contract for a tech company merger. Oh man, mergers are always so complicated. Yeah, totally. And the contract is like hundreds of pages long. No way I would not want to be Priya right now. But she's got Harvey AI, so she uploads the contract, and the AI just goes to town on it, analyzing every little thing. Wow. So it's like having a whole team of lawyers working around the clock. Kind of, but even better, because Harvey AI can also do things like cross-reference the contract with all the relevant laws. Oh, wow. So it makes sure everything is legit and compliant. Exactly. And it can even compare the contract to other similar mergers that have happened in the past. So it can, like, learn from previous deals. Yep. So it can point out any red flags or potential risks for Priya's client. That's incredible. It's like having this, like... This legal advisor that never sleeps. And it means Priya can spend less time on the grunt work and more time coming up with strategies to help her clients. So it's not just about speed, it's about better outcomes too. Absolutely. And this is just one example. We haven't even talked about all the other ways Harvey AI can help lawyers. Well, it can be used for things like legal research compliance monitoring, even predicting how a court case might turn out. Wow. It seems like the possibilities are endless. They really are, and we're just scratching the surface here. Okay, so we've talked about what Harvey AI does. Yeah. But where is it actually being used right now? Like, who has access to this technology? So Harvey AI is being adopted all over the world. Really? Like, where? Well, we're seeing it used by law firms and legal departments in places like the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia. Wow. That's a pretty wide reach. Yeah. And it's also being used in the European Union and even in places like Singapore and Hong Kong. So it's really making its mark globally. It is. And I think there are a few key reasons for that. Oh, yeah. Like what? Well, these regions often have really complex legal systems, right? And they have a lot of cases and just a growing need to be more efficient. Yeah, that makes sense. So they're kind of like the perfect testing ground for something like Harvey AI. Exactly. And legal professionals in these areas are realizing just how valuable AI tools can be. Okay, so we've talked about what Harvey AI does and where it's being used, but what about the bigger picture? What kind of impact is this having on the legal industry as a whole? Well, one of the most immediate impacts is that it's saving everyone a ton of time and money. How so? Because if law firms can automate a bunch of their tasks, they can handle more cases with the same amount of people. Which means? Lower costs for clients and faster turnaround times. Okay, but efficiency isn't everything right. What are some of the other impacts you're seeing? Yeah, you're right. It's not just about being fast. It's also about being accurate and making sure you don't miss anything important. Because we're all human. Right. We make mistakes. Exactly. And when you're dealing with complicated legal documents, it's easy to overlook something. Especially if you've been staring at a computer screen for hours. But Harvey AI doesn't get tired or distracted. It catches all those little details that humans might miss. So it's like having a second set of eyes, but like super powered eyes. Exactly. And that brings us to another big impact of Harvey AI. It's making legal services more accessible to everyone. What do you mean by that? Well, in the past, only the big law firms with lots of money could afford the really fancy legal tools. Yeah, that makes sense. That's right. But now... With Harvey AI, even smaller firms and solo practitioners can access this kind of technology. So it's kind of leveling the playing field. Exactly. They can take on more complex cases and offer a wider range of services. And that means more people can get the legal help they need. Exactly. It's all about making the legal system more fair and efficient for everyone. It's really incredible to think about how much this technology is changing things. Yeah. And we're just getting started. That's what's so exciting about it. All the possibilities that are still out there. It really feels like we're on the edge of a major shift in the legal profession. But 
it's hard to predict the future. Like, will tools like Harvey AI eventually replace lawyers altogether? <laughs> That's a question a lot of people are asking, but I don't think it's that simple. So you don't think lawyers are going extinct anytime soon? Not at all. There are certain things that AI just can't replicate. Like what? Well, things like judgment and empathy, you know, the ability to really understand a client's situation and fight for what's best for them. Okay, so if AI isn't replacing lawyers, what's going to happen? I think we'll see more of what's being called hybrid lawyering. Hybrid lawyering. What's that? Basically, it means that lawyers will work together with AI tools. So they'll use AI to do the boring stuff. Right, like all that paperwork and research. Yeah. And then they can focus on the more strategic and creative points of their job. So instead of being stuck in an office, mm. they can spend more time with their clients and come up with innovative solutions. Exactly. It's about using the strengths of both humans and AI to create a better legal system. A more efficient system, but also a more human system. Exactly. Well, on that note, we're gonna wrap up this deep dive into the world of Harvey AI and its impact on the legal profession. It's been a fascinating discussion. It really has. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for AI and law. Me too. This is just the beginning. And who knows, maybe one day, AI will even be able to help us with all that paperwork in our own lives. Wouldn't that be nice? I'd be the first in line. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow evening with a brand new episode, so make sure to tune in. Until then, keep exploring.